others, and it will say practice safe. Practice safe work habits. Anything that applies to machinery and equipment, wearing, adjusting, and maintaining personal protective equipment, clothing. So this is what it tells you that's going to be on the exam. So say PPE, you have to know any PPE that you are expected to wear or, or look after or whatever, you're expected to know all about it. So this is the syllabus that you're talking about, I think, is what equipment. So you've got communication, use of drawings, and it will say drawings, sketches, assemblies, and component parts, I think it is. So if you go through here, you'll have each one of these modules, and the modules broken into each section. Um, so here is use of hand tools, power tools, use of machine tools, use of precision measuring tools. So here is uh, using verniers, uh, using alignment instrument, using precision measurements. So you have to know what each one is for your trade, how they're used, and how to maintain them, and how to get proper uh, information from them. Does that, that answer your question? I'm lifting online. Pardon me? You said that I'm lifting online. I'm lifting this online. Oh. Yeah, you can get it online. I can print, I can, get, I can get a copy. I can even email that to you if you wanted to. You give me your email and I can, uh, the only, and it, it used to be part of your package, that welcome package. It used to be about this thick. It talks about the national uh, occupation analysis for each province and what they wanted and all that sort of stuff. And from that comes this, this sort of syllabus, how they do the exams. <coughs> Now when you go through each of this, each one of these step-by-step, -step, these modules, they're very vague. They don't tell you, they don't steer you in a direction, like this one here, using precision measurement devices. That's all it says. That means you have to know how to use a micrometer, a vernier, a depth gauge, anything you would be expected to use, but it doesn't give you any direction of what, what questions or what to, to do. So it's, it's very vague. That's the reason I've taken it out, because it really, I can give it to you. I'm not sure what the value of it to you is. No, I would love to do it. I can get, I can, I can, if you give me your email, I can okay. get a copy. Um, and each province has got the run, like each, I think this one is from Ontario College of Trades. So can, I one, get, can I get one for this? Is it possible? Yeah, send me your email. I'll go through. I don't. I don't have BCs in particular here. I just happened to put that one up because it was one of the first ones I came to when I was attached to the uh, Red Seal trade site. Okay. It just used that as a, as a link. So that's the reason I just added this one uh, to it. But I can look for the BC one. It will be very similar. Have you seen one of these before? Um, most of the people I've given it to in the past said they weren't going to use it, that's why I took it out. But definitely I can get it for you. So here's my email. If after, if after um, the course is finished and you get home and you start thinking about things, use this email to get in touch with me. And it's small r, small l, period, k-e-a-t-i-n-g, my last name, at hotmail.ca for Canada.com. A lot of people put down COM because they're used to it, and then I never ever get an email from them. So make sure you use .ca or period CA. So that's a direct, that's my personal one. I'll get back to you with whatever information that um, you need. And like I said, communicate that way for questions you have, communication, <coughs> I can call you. If you give me a number and you want to talk to me, I can call you. I have a, a line where it doesn't cost me as long as you're within Canada and Medical North America. It doesn't cost me anything to call, so I can get in touch with you wherever you are. But yeah, if, if the, as you're going through and you, you, you see something where you want me to get some information, yeah, I don't, uh, I'll either send you a link if it's too big to send as an email, like if, this one here is, well, it's only 21 pages long, but some of them are like 200 pages long. Um, so it depends.
depends on the link. Maybe I, I can either send you the link or I can, I can send a copy of 